Liu looked over the crowd for only a moment before he seemed greatly pained. He clutched at his eyes with both hands and started howling in agony. The old general gestured to his soldiers up on the balcony and quietly asked them to remove him. Lin Yu looked white as a ghost and the soldiers seemed as though they were quite distressed by Liu's reaction. After clearing his throat, he said, <clears throat> Clearly something has gone wrong with Liu's surgery. Please don't worry about him. Just as with all of you, he can't die anymore either. I assure you, he will be cared for with the highest of hospitality. For now, set your minds to the upcoming battle with General Wong. Dismissed. There it was again. But this time I remembered. General Wong, the leader of that ragtag group that took over the town I freed. General Wong is dead and has been for at least a few days. Surely someone with as much influence as you already knows that, I called up to the balcony. General Lai was taken aback and Lin Yu pointed her finger at me with fury in her eyes. Damon, what are you doing? Ren asked with shock. Who the hell are you? The old man asked. This whelp has been trying to interfere in your plans for some time now, father, Lin Yu informed. Oh really? Then why haven't you dealt with him yet? Lai demanded. Lin Yu flinched from him before responding. Last I saw him, Li Yu had driven his glaive through his heart in a somewhat alarmed tone. The old general growled and snapped his fingers rudely. Think, Lin Yu. You removed death from the world. Of course he didn't die from being stabbed through the heart, he said, tapping himself in the temple. She looked like it struck her like a pallet of bricks. Now go down there and capture him, he insisted. Lin Yu was surprised to be ordered as such, but immediately leapt over the balcony, falling four stories before landing in a cloud of dust on the ground. 